Welcome to Windows 9, I mean 10. One of the features I love about Windows 7 and 8 is the Snap 2 feature. What do I mean is, if I open up this window here, I can drag it along to the left, to the right, I can maximize it, I can make it back a window, I can minimize it. But what I can also do is drag it to the left all the way to the bezel and it will snap to the left. I can also drag it to the right and it will snap to the right. Now what's new with Windows 10 and this is the technical preview is I can now snap this to the top left or the top right and in fact any of the corners. How cool is that? The other thing I can do if I drag it to the top it just goes full screen but if I use the Windows key and the up arrow I can snap it 50% top down arrow down arrow 50% bottom left arrow I'm holding down the uh, Windows key on the keyboard and by using a keyboard combination with the arrows and that key pressed down all the time the Windows key pressed down all the time I can move my window to any corner or any top bottom half of the screen I'd like. Now another thing I've noticed is this. Let's say I open up a few windows. Windows Explorer, Internet Explorer, let's say I go to Paint. Let's say I choose to move paint to the right hand side. So I snap it to the right, let go, and then the other two windows will come up saying which one do you want to be on the left? And I'll choose Internet Explorer. I'm not sure if I like this option. It's it's cool, but I think it's going to be confusing to a lot of people who are just getting used to the fact that you can snap something to the left or right or even the corners. And actually, as an added note, I think I would like to see it so that when I snap that over, that these windows simmer like you do with the uh, Windows 8 phone. Now I had to play around with this with two monitors. What it doesn't do for me at least is it doesn't uh, move from monitor A to monitor B like Windows 7 or 8 does. I have to manually drag it from one monitor to the other monitor then I can use the uh, arrow keys and the Windows flag key to position in one of the four corners or left, right, top or bottom. One thing I do notice that's different is before on Windows 7 or 8 if I minimized the window I couldn't maximize it again. It was Once the window was out of focus that was the end of it. But now by pressing the up arrow I get the window straight back. So if I minimize the window too far I can get it back. I think this is a great feature. As I say I had problems with two monitors that could be just my system but I'm liking what I'm seeing.